Can you guess which medicine is over 100 years old and very commonly used worldwide? This medicine can help relieve your pain if you have a headache, or it can save your life if you are having a heart attack. Yes, it is aspirin. My name is Dr. Amir, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Aspirin is widely used for different conditions, but it's mostly used as a blood thinner. That is why if it's given early for chest pain due to a heart attack, it could help reduce the risk of death. Also, it is given as a long-term treatment for all the patients who already had heart attacks or strokes. In addition, it is given to patients with angina after they underwent a heart procedure to place a stent in their blocked arteries. But should we give aspirin to everybody to promote a healthy heart? In fact, in the past, we used to recommend that everyone over the age of 40 should take an aspirin pill every day. This is not the case anymore. The reason is aspirin can increase the risk of stomach ulcer or bleeding from the stomach, which could be very dangerous to the elderly or people with heavy alcohol use, or if they are taking anti-inflammatory medications for pain regularly. So the risk in these cases is more than its benefits. Because of this, aspirin is not recommended now for everyone, but definitely for all the heart patients. But for people without heart conditions, if they have multiple risk factors for heart attacks, such as having diabetes, but with other conditions, like having high blood pressure, cholesterol, or heavy smoking, then the doctor might recommend for you a daily aspirin use. How much aspirin should you take in these situations? In case of a suspected heart attack, you should chew a full strength of uncoated aspirin immediately. But for the long-term use, it is recommended to use a coated baby aspirin, 75 to 100 milligram every day. Coated aspirin means that the pill can pass through the stomach and get dissolved only in the small intestines. So the risk of stomach ulcer and bleeding is much less. Important point is for patients who suffer from asthma. They should be careful as taking aspirin pill might trigger an asthma attack. Finally, please inform your doctor if you are taking aspirin and planning to have a dental or surgical procedure. They might recommend stopping it before the procedure to avoid the risk of heavy bleeding. I hope you enjoyed my topic today. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until I see you again, I would like to wish you a happy, healthy life.